that's the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. 85% of its staff have been furloughed. And it's facing a longer-term threat to its funding. Many NASA grants were cancelled as part of Doge cuts earlier this year. And now President Trump is proposing a 47% funding cut to NASA science, calling the agency's spending levels unsustainable and saying it wants to reprioritize space exploration missions. Astronauts have widely criticized the NASA cuts, saying the agency would be devastated. On Monday, a group of more than 200 advocates rallied at Capitol Hill, urging lawmakers to save NASA funding. That day of action was organized by the Planetary Society, chaired by the famous educator Bill Nye, the science guy. And with me now in the studio is Casey Dreyer, Chief of Space Policy at the Planetary Society. Casey, good to see you. Thank you for being with us. These are pretty big numbers, 45%, 85%. What is this going to do to NASA's funding and structure? I mean, this is an extinction level event for NASA science. This is the largest cut in its history proposed. And if you're doing that, you're turning off dozens of missions, you're laying off thousands of people, you're ending the scientific endeavor at NASA as we know it. And this is why we brought so many people here today, because they feel that something really fundamental is at threat, not just in the missions themselves, but in a larger symbolic action of who are we as a nation, if we're pretty much turning our eyes away from the, the larger cosmos and just giving up on these capabilities. Many people on a very simplistic level will, hold, will say, hold on a second, we don't do that much in space. Why is NASA important? Yeah, we do lots of things in space. There's astronauts uh, going to the moon, working on that next year. But we have spacecraft beyond the solar system. We study the sun, we study the Earth. We have rovers on Mars. We, do, we have over 120 missions in space right now doing science, just science. And this incredible capability has been built up over 70 years of investment. You don't just turn the light switch on and on with this. And so we have been, NASA has never been away. We've just expanded and the, the kind of capabilities that NASA does, no one else in the world can do. It's a really precious and unique capability. And President Trump, when he came into office, and especially when he worked with Elon Musk, said he wanted to send Americans to Mars. So many would be surprised that he's then cutting funding to the agency that would do that. It actually makes no strategic sense. And this is the strange thing. This budget proposal they put forward actually undermines the president's own statements and beliefs. And this is why we are so worried. And this is why I think we've actually seen Republicans themselves who run the Senate and the House and Congress pushing back on this almost completely. They have undone a lot of these cuts or stand to undo them if they can pass their final budget into law. Well, so if there is bipartisan support then for NASA, surely you can relax slightly. You're pretty well protected. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could be popping my uh, champagne bottles right now, and I would be in any other situation if we didn't have such an, uh, a strong executive ambition to kind of control spending. And so even though Congress looks ready to, to fund this, even though they've queued up these bills, the executive branch and the budget office seems intent on Im imposing these cuts before Congress can take action. And that's why we came here today, to try to stop that kind of activity. You said uh, NASA is the only place that does this. Well, not really. China, India, mm -hmm. Russia are expanding their operations yep. in space. Is this a threat to America more broadly? It is, and, and it, both are true. China's building up incredible capability and has huge ambition, but is not capable of yet doing the things that NASA is doing now. We have rovers on Mars and missions beyond Pluto. No other nation has a spacecraft that far into space. But if we stop and just give up, other nations will, and they're, they're planning to do those things. Okay, Casey Dreyer, Chief of Space Policy at the Planetary Society. Casey, thank you very much thank for you. being with us.